Welcome to another maintenance vlog, this time from Opua in New Zealand. We noticed that our engine had lost some of its mojo and we were barely getting 1800 RPM at full open throttle. And after eliminating other causes like a fouled prop or a dirty hull, we narrowed it down to the turbo. A turbocharger, for those who don't know, is the donut-y shaped thing on the exhaust end of the engine and it makes the engine far more efficient. It does this by having a turbine, which is like a little windmill inside the exhaust, which spins when the exhaust gases pass through it. This is the turbine end. This in turn spins a shaft with another turbine on the other end called the compressor. Now this compressor forces more air into the combustion chamber, making it burn far more efficiently due to the excess oxygen. When it stops working, the engine's efficiency is noticeably reduced, in which case you have to diagnose the problem. That our engine doesn't rev up enough and we don't get that turbo boost. What's nighttime reading tonight? Nice. With a flashlight, check for bent or chipped blades, erosion of the blades, rub marks on the wheels or housings, excessive dirt on the wheels and oil in the housings. Now I clean the turbo usually about once every two years when I take the elbow off for a bit of a clean, which you can see in this blog here. And I can usually tell if something's amiss, but on this occasion I couldn't see anything that was obvious. Now the turbocharger spins extremely fast and can heat up to about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, which I think is about 650 degrees centigrade. So the degree of precision needed when repairing these things means it can only really be done by a specialist. So we had a local mechanic take a look at it in situ and he couldn't see anything obviously wrong with it. So they can't seem to find a problem. So the next thing is to try and maybe get the turbo tested. As soon as we were on hold anyway, waiting for another job, I decided to have it sent away to a service center and have it properly inspected and cleaned. So it was time to remove it. However, before you can get to the turbo, you have to remove the fabric cover and the elbow. But before you can remove the elbow, you have to remove the inlet pipe for the raw water and the exhaust pipe as well. So the air intake delivers the ambient air. This is the air in from the filter. So obviously there's a bearing on the shaft which needs a constant stream of oil over it, which is delivered and drained by these two pipes here. And this is the oil in and then the waste oil out. And the boost pipe delivers the pressurized air to the fuel pump. And the exhaust gas exits via the elbow where it's mixed with the expelled cooling seawater. So it's a pretty harsh environment in there and the turbo gets quite a bit of bashing. So that's the compressor end with the compressor wheel. And that's the turbine end. And you can see there some of the carbon buildup and it's uh, pretty well baked on. And that right there is the wastegate, which acts as a kind of pressure relief valve and works by diverting the exhaust gases away from the turbine wheel. And as the name suggests, it opens like a gate on a kind of a spring loaded mechanism. Just a quick reminder that if you do find these videos useful and you'd like to return a favour, then you can click on the thanks button below this video and buy me a cold one, which would be very much appreciated. So the turbine eventually came back cleaned, carbon free and fully inspected and serviced. The turbine was fine, it was just a stubborn bit of carbon stuck in the wastegate holding it open. So there wasn't enough pressure from the exhaust gases to turn the turbine. So once this was removed we had a nice tight seal again. So then it was just a matter of connecting all the pipes back up, replacing the elbow and a final tighten up and we were ready to go.
make sure I have a full fill pump. That's it, thanks for watching, and thanks in particular to our patrons who make all things possible. If you want to become a patron, just follow the links in the description below. Be sure to check out our other sailing and travel channel, Mothership Adrift. You can also check out our merch store with mugs and t-shirts with our Mothership branding.